Hello, so I'm gonna show you what starter decks do I use. Uh, I think those decks are the best for new players. Um, I see a lot of players use all the different decks, but they perform bad. So I'm not sure if they are just bad or they use the wrong deck. As you can see, I have a lot of gold. I don't craft the cards since it's still uh, the beta. They, they still can change the cards. So I use starter decks and I'll show you what I, which ones do I use. For Beric, uh, Master Builder, you spawn two turrets, you heal turrets, turrets heal you when you st stand next to them and they have more health. So all the decks are basically for all, all three game modes when you play solo. For Sky, uh, from the shadows, enter stealth, uh, attack the enemy, deal bonus damage, then drop the smoke bomb again, stealth, deal bonus damage. Best deck. Cassie uh, Huntress, you deal bonus damage uh, for the 6% of target's maximum health and when you kill the enemy you will get 45% uh, of your max health. Uh, the other three cards are not really that important. Peep, uh, definitely the moving target, 45% more damage, it's really a lot, though it's only for targets above 65% health. But if they are not above 65, then they, they are basically dead. Uh, and they are uh, weapon explosion radius, and you deal less damage to yourself. Grok, definitely the Astral Assault. Um, restoration is not bad, but I still I prefer to do deal damage. So, this one definitely. Bonus attack speed equals more damage and your totem has more health and, and ghost walk lasts longer. For Eevee, uh, if you can hit target directly, if your aim is good then you can use uh, freeze and shatter. But I prefer using the Arctic Blast. Because you, you freeze the enemies, they cannot move and you can just one-shot them. They're in place. Um, first and second card don't really stack because you either use Ice Block to freeze the enemy and exit immediately or you stay in Ice Block as long as you can to heal. Um, I'd rather use it for freezing the enemy. Fernando, I like to use... Uh, damage, Pyromancer, uh, I like to deal damage, so definitely this one, Shelter and Colossus are for tanks, so no thank you, I mean if you like playing tank, then go, Buck, Buck does not have damage, he's really weak at the moment, so definitely the Berserker, you get a lot of healing, uh, bonus life steal in recovery and bonus healing when you're below 40% health. Rakos definitely gun in placement. You deal bonus damage uh, to targets that are close to you and you move faster uh, while you dwell fire. Androxus is let's see return fire. You attack the enemy, uh, they attack you, you lose a little bit of health, then you activate the reversal, you heal for the half of the absorbed damage, or 30%, so it's better than Gunslinger for example, because you have only 6 bullets, and so these 25, 24 attack speed is not really that great. Brewer. Rage definitely because uh, in all games you'll, you'll face just uh, rain champions. This deck gives you the second wine to activate if you miss the first one or enemy escapes with uh, when you use the first wine. And also um, when you attack them you move faster so it's easier to chase them. Kinesa definitely quick shot because uh, critical hits work 
when an enemy comes behind you and when you cannot, cannot go in the scope mode you just aim for the upper half of the body. Uh, Ying, definitely explosion, I mean detonation. Just, you know, spawn first delusion, spawn second delusion, then shatter them, blink. When you blink to that delusion you spawn another with 25% health and then again shatter and a lot of damage. And Drogos, uh, Master Starrant, so charge your um, rockets and fire all 6 or 5, how many is it, at the enemy, if you hit, hit all, you, you get bonus damage for its stacks 3 times, so, and since you do deal a, a, a real effect damage, it's explosion, you, sh you should always hit the target, so, this stack will always be helpful. Well, that's it. 